Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you today, the 10th of March 2021. We are going to have another short doubt solving session on vaccine coverage and dropout rates. So before I proceed any further, let us have a quick discussion on a very frequently asked doubt that is fad that what do we mean by a fully immunized child and what is a completely immunized child. Please remember that what is a fully immunized child. Fully immunized child is a child who has received all due vaccine, who has received all due vaccine till one year of age. So fully immunized till one year of age and completely immunized child is a child who has received all due vaccine still two years of age. So please remember this point number one. Point number two, how do we calculate the vaccine coverage? Vaccine coverage is given by a simple formula, the total number of infants who received the dose in a particular year divided by the annual target population into 100. So this formula might look really simple and straightforward to you. But sometimes you need to find out the annual target population, which is an important and conceptual topic. How to find out the annual target population that is the eligible number of beneficiaries under the program for that particular year. So the beneficiaries could either be the pregnant females where you want to give them the tetanus and diphtheria toxoid vaccine, TD vaccine, or they could be the infants to whom you are going to give the pentavalence or the measles rubella vaccine or, or any vaccine for that matter. Or it could also be the number of live births where you are concerned for giving them the BCG vaccine. So to know more on how to find out the eligible beneficiaries, you can please visit this YouTube channel that is uh, Mukmohit's uh, Community Medicine Simplified. And uh, in this uh, YouTube channel, there is a different playlist. So you can find a playlist by name of MCQ Discussions. And within that playlist, within this playlist, you need to search for the demography module. Demography module where you can find out uh, how to find out the eligible beneficiaries. Now, taking a live example, that let us say in the rural training health center where I work, uh, roughly just to take it on easy basis, let us say that the total infants which are there in my area is 200 every year. So that is also the data. You can also take the data directly available from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare or you can do your own calculations and uh, which I have already shown you on the YouTube channel and uh, the numerical is solved over there. So anyways, let us say that the total infants in my area are approximately 200 every year. I want to find out what is the vaccine coverage for my measles rubella 1 vaccine or the measles conjugate vaccine 1, which is given at 9 months of age, right? So what I do is I find out how many total number of infants who received the dose. Let us say in my area, there were 160 children who, uh, 160 doses of measles vaccine was used in last year and uh, divided by the total target population that is 200 multiplied by 100. So that gives me a vaccine coverage of approximately 80%. This will give me a vaccine coverage of my measles rubella 1 for the measles first vaccine of 80%. Next, let us say how to calculate the point number three, how to find out the dropouts. Now dropouts are interesting. That uh, simple formula is that you find out the total number of dropouts divided by the proxy dose recipients into 100. Simple. But the point is, what do we mean by a dropout? Dropout means that the patient was or the person was already in the program and he dropped off, right? So that means there has to be a proxy dose recipient. For example, I want to find out the dropouts for pentavalent. Usually we take for pentavalent or we find out the dropouts for measles rubella vaccine. So you give measles 1 and you give measles 2 and uh, then you find out the dropouts. So for example, let us say that uh, measles rubella 1 vaccine was given in my area to 160 children as we have seen in my previous example also. And the measles rubella 2 was given to maybe 140 children. So now the dropouts, so now the dropouts are this 1 minus the 2. So 1 minus 2, so that means the dropouts in my area are 20. So once I get the dropouts, this will be the numerator. This will be the numerator of my formula. So dropouts is equal to 20. And what is the proxy dose recipients? We know that the proxy dose recipient, that is the first dose recipient. First dose. So that was, you remember, was 160. So what is the dropouts over here? 
the dropouts will be calculated as so the drop out rate will be calculated as 20 divided by 160 into 100 so that will come out to 6 to 12 so 12.5 12 percent will be my drop out rate right so that's how you calculate the dropouts there is a slight variation in this whenever we are calculating the dropouts so usually we have to take a proxy vaccine indicator so therefore for oral polio vaccine you will take the first dose usually we take the first dose as the proxy indicator but whenever we are talking about the dropouts for the overall national immunization schedule that how many children actually entered into the into the schedule and how many were dropped off irrespective of the type of the vaccine that can also be calculated in those research methods we usually take the bcg vaccine or we take the measles rubella one vaccine or the measles vaccine number one so either the bcg which is given at birth that is taken as the proxy indicator or we can take the measles rubella as the proxy indicator whenever we are talking of the overall national immunization schedule but technically we have to calculate the dropouts which are specific for every vaccine specific for every vaccine right so with that uh, you have all my details over here you have all my details which is available on telegram you can have the facebook group you can you i think most of us are already there on the marrow links group or in my group mukmoet's community and medicine discussions you can also watch for all the updates on my facebook page that is mukmoet dr or watch uh, for uh, all the updates on instagram as well youtube channel is very like resourceful for all the students who are aspiring preparing for their public health exams or for their uh, pg entrance exam so a lot of videos you'll find here and website there is a website particularly the psm simplified.com where you get all the updates thank you so much for watching this module see you in the next doubt solving session bye, -bye.